Hey everyone, Gary here from PlayStationUniverse.com here to show you the next boss in Neo. This is uh, the Giant Centipede and this is probably the most irritating fight. Um, it's definitely the least fun that I had. Um, it's also very long-winded, uh, at least for me it was. Uh, I don't know if you'll find a better strategy than I did, but I'm about to show you how I got through this fight. So as you can see, the giant centipede has all these little pods behind it. So what you want to do is you want to get rid of those pods. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I think it'll make the fight a little easier for you. So what you'll do is uh, just I kind of came up to this rock here. Um, I attack them. Uh, once you destroy the last, destroy at least one of them, they'll break off into these tiny little crabs. Um, you want to destroy these as quickly as possible because they um, pretty much uh, park themselves uh, on random terrain and they start spewing poisonous gas which filters which which kind of just spreads throughout the entire area and you have to use the um, the big uh, air purifier that you saw up on that platform there. So you'll see here I'm, I'm already poisoned because I didn't kill one of them so um, it's definitely something you want to avoid uh, because it will just drain your health. Um, so you just go ahead and destroy as many of them as you can, as quickly as you can, um, and then just go and purify the air. Um, so make sure you just do it quickly before the centipede catches up to you because the centipede is actually very quick um, and it, it can crawl around throughout the entire level very easily so you never really feel like you have much of a advantage from from up high or from below so uh, you can see here I tried the strategy where I kind of stood behind the rock and just kind of swing away um, I learned that wasn't a very good strategy because you can see his attacks can still hit you through the wall um, he also just kind of goes through himself when he turns around uh, like that um, so I never really found an advantage where I could just kind of hide behind a rock and just kind of chip away at his health because he still was able to hit me. Um, you could do the strategy if it works for you. It, it didn't work that well for me and I just think it took a lot longer. So uh, yeah, I never in this fight really found the, a, a fantastic strategy to get through the fight quickly and efficiently <clears throat> so I pretty much found that you kind of just have to block his chopping mouth attack and just wait for an opening um, because he never really gives you one you see there you come up to him he spews rocks at you he spews poison at you he paralyzes you with that big purple breath attack um, nothing really helps uh, except for when he's coming at you, if you block the first attack, he'll just kind of rise up, and that's really the only advantage you get and the only chance you get at hitting him. At least that I could find. Again, if you guys found a much easier strategy, please let me know in the comments below because I would I would love to know uh, for when I ever plan to do this fight again. Um, but this is the 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 one and only strategy I found. Uh, and his his attacks are pretty simple. This is pretty much his entire attack pattern is he chomps down at you coming at you um, you block it or if he hits you he just stands up and starts spewing poison rocks or uh, that bo uh, that purple haze attack which paralyzes you um, after you do a certain amount of damage to him though he, he will kind of uh, as you see here you can actually stun him which is w once you once you do stun him is kind of where the the boss kind of I guess you can say respawns which is incredibly annoying uh, as you'll see here so I'll stun him and just do as much damage as you can to his mouth which I believe is the weakest part of his body but it's not that easy to actually target and hit it um, so you'll see he starts to crawl away um, get as much damage as you can in this phase um, because it's really the only opening phase that he has and like I said he does move a lot faster than you do but once he goes down into any of the various holes he'll just come back and he'll have all those pods right back so pretty much this fight you just rinse and repeat the strategy at least that's what I did 
And that's uh, quite honestly the best strategy I found to defeat him because even if I try to go up top and fall on top of him, um, I never really got a chance because he just he moves too fast or he climbs up the obstacles a little too quickly. But like I say, just every time you stun him, just make sure uh, and realize that he's going to try to find a hole to to go back down into or to climb up into and respawn his pod. So uh, yeah, that's the giant centipede. It's my least favorite boss in the game, and it's one that I would not like to go back to. So if you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more.